Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you uh, for joining me today. Uh, today, uh, I want to share with you the story of Mr. Sipro, Voice over IP security testing framework. Uh, it's a tool that started uh, as a simple hobby project, uh, but has since grown into something much bigger. It's a software application that allows you to test and break voice over IP applications and networks. And it's a tool that has taken me on a journey from being a a curious uh, hobbyist to a published academic researcher uh, and a speaker at top hacker conferences. And uh, when I started working on Mr. C Pro, uh, I never uh, could have imagined the impact it would have. Uh, it was just a simple project uh, that I worked on in my free time, exploring the world of voice over IP security and looking for new vulnerabilities. Uh, but as I continued to work on it, uh, I realized that uh, I had stumbled upon something truly valuable for my career. And uh, my academic research uh, confirmed the potential of the tool, and I was able to present my findings at uh, top conferences in the hacker community, and Mr. Sip is now uh, used by security professionals, uh, researchers around the world, and I'm proud to say that uh, it has contributed uh, to security uh, voice over IP networks and applications. And today, uh, I'm here to share with you the story of how Mr. Sipro was created and how it uh, has evolved over the years and the unique features uh, that set it apart from other voice over IP security tools in the market. And we will also talk about uh, how to break voice over IP networks and applications using Mr. Sip. And I hope uh, that uh, this story will inspire you to explore the world of voice over IP security and push the boundaries of uh, what's possible. And thank you for being here today. Let's get started. Uh, before we begin, uh, I want to gauge your familiarity with voice over IP security and Mr. Sip. Uh, I don't think we have much, but how many of you have experience with voice over IP security? Okay, we have some experts. Uh, this, uh, yeah, as you know, voice over IP security uh, is a complex and ever evolving field. And again, uh, how many of you have uh, heard of or used Mr. Sip before? Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, so for those who haven't, uh, Mr. Sip is a powerful tool for testing and securing voice over IP uh, networks and applications. Now, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Ismail Militash, but uh, please feel free to call me Meli. Uh, I'm a senior security consultant at Synopsys, based in London, UK, but originally from Turkey. And I have uh, over 15 years of work experience in the field with a focus on banking and uh, telecom-based uh, industries. And my specialization uh, includes web, API, and mobile security testing, source code reviews, and network security testing. I also recently uh, researching about vulnerability intelligence, attack surface management, and uh, security posture management. I studied computer science and engineering for bachelor, master, and PhD. And uh, my master thesis was about uh, computer forensics and my PhD research, uh, for my PhD research, I focused on uh, voice over IP security. And my passion for voice over IP security research uh, led me to pursue it uh, academically and professionally. And before joining Synopsys, uh, I worked as a, a principal security engineer at Garanti BBVA Technology, <coughs> and uh, I worked as a, a senior security researcher at Natash, uh, which was part of Northern Networks at the time. And I co authored several cybersecurity projects and granted um, 10 million euros for research uh, at Natash as one of the co-founders of the cybersecurity department there. And as an active speaker at uh, hacker conferences, I presented at uh, Black Hat, DEF CON, Ofton, NOPCON, and other notable events in uh, four different continents. And uh, recently, uh, I had uh, Arsenal demonstrations at uh, Black Hat Europe in London, and both briefing and Arsenal demonstrations at Black Hat MIA in Saudi Arabia uh, just a couple months ago. And I will also be at Black Hat Asia in Singapore in May this year. And last month, uh, I have published uh, a research paper called uh, A Novel Approach for Efficient uh, Mitigation Against sip based uh, DRDoS Attacks uh, in uh, MDPI Applied Science Journal. And currently, uh, I'm working on a research paper called uh, Blockchain-Based Color ID Authentication uh, is a novel solution to prevent color ID spoofing attacks uh, in voice over IP and SIP networks. And uh, another one is uh, called Unrevealing the anatomy of end-to-end uh, -end caller ID spoofing attacks in live financial centers. 
uh, which I hope to present in uh, one of the top tier conferences uh, such as IEEE, SMP, uh, Usenix, NDSS or uh, ACMTCS. And through my research, uh, I have contributed uh, five novel voice over IP attacks and uh, three novel voice over IP defense approaches to the academic literature. And I also discovered six TVs from uh, prominent companies uh, like IBM and Cisco. And uh, I have been endorsed by Tech Nation UK as global exceptional talent. And with that said, uh, I'm excited to share my experience and knowledge with you all. And again, I hope uh, this presentation will be insightful and tough for working. I would like to mention about Synopsys, uh, the company I'm working for. Uh, it's known as an uh, electronic design automation company and was founded in 1986, which means that it's uh, 37 years old. Uh, but over the past decade, uh, it has made numerous uh, cybersecurity acquisitions and positioning itself as a leader in the cybersecurity industry. And uh, Synopsys has been uh, a consistent leader in uh, Gartner's major quadrant reports in application security testing and maintaining its position at the highest and farthest right uh, for the six years running. And the company is uh, comprised uh, of three primary divisions, including uh, Software Integrity Group, uh, which focuses on cybersecurity and has a global presence uh, with offices located throughout in the world in 30 different uh, countries, 30 plus countries actually, uh, including London, Reading, Tail, Belfast and Glasgow in the UK. And Synopsys has made a total of uh, 57 acquisitions and uh, 13 of them uh, being cybersecurity related and has invested $3.3 billion in these acquisitions. And notable uh, cybersecurity acquisitions include uh, Whitehead Security, uh, which specializes in dynamic application security testing, uh, Black Pack Software, which offers uh, software composition analysis, Sigital, uh, uh, providing cybersecurity consulting services, uh, which I am part of, uh, Codnomicon, known, on, uh, known uh, for its expertise in protocol fuzzing, uh, and credited with uh, discovering the Heartbleed vulnerability. And lastly, Coverity, uh, which specializes in uh, static application security testing. So the board of Mr. Sip, uh, originally uh, I developed it uh, as a hobby project uh, to aid my uh, academic studies uh, focusing on the development of novel SIP-based DDoS attacks. And the project uh, proved to be a success and resulting in uh, several academic uh, research papers and journal articles. And as the project evolved, uh, Mr. Sip uh, became a functional SIP pen test tool uh, that offers some unique features and capabilities not found in other voice over IP security tools on the market. And I made it open source and started to present it uh, at hacker conferences. And uh, it has been well received by the cybersecurity and telecom uh, community and has been used by some individuals and organizations from cybersecurity researchers uh, to network admins and penetration testers, and even has been used by major companies like Cisco. And people also use Mr. SIP as a, a SIP client simulator and a SIP traffic generator. And uh, with the success of Mr. SIP, uh, I decided to keep announcing the features and capabilities and named it uh, as Mr. SIP Pro, uh, which is voice over IP security testing framework. And this is the timeline. Uh, so it was a project of mine that ranked first in an innovation competition that I participated in 2010 uh, while I was working at Netash. And we raised about uh, 2 million euros in research funds at the time. And uh, that, uh, that project led the, uh, the establishment of the cybersecurity department from uh, one engineer to 100 engineers within three years. And within that three years, uh, we also had other uh, uh, some other cybersecurity uh, projects, and in total, we were funded around uh, 10 million euros at the time. And first prototypes were funded and used by Turkish government. And between uh, 2011 and 2015, uh, Mr. Sip remained as closed source. And in 2015, I left the company, uh, and the company decided to stop the project in a few years later. In 2016, I decided to reprogram uh, all the tools, utilizing all of my past experiences. And I published the first open source version in 2017, and we presented the project at Black Hat USA, EU, and Asia Arsenal's DEFCON main stage, and also the Ofson Moscow. Uh, it also appeared in academic papers published in uh, IEEE, Elsevier, and MDPI journals. And in 2021, we participated uh, some competitions and were ranked first uh, and got some prizes. 
now with you as secretary and uh, will be uh, at Black Hat Asia in Singapore in May this year. So some facts about voice over IP security. Uh, it's a critical issue that needs to be addressed uh, for several reasons. Uh, according to CFCA's uh, latest report, uh, the total loss of telecom fraud was around $28.2 billion, uh, which corresponds to 1.74% uh, of the total uh, telecom revenues. Uh, this highlights the importance of uh, ensuring that voice over IP systems are secure. And when we look at the most common weaknesses, uh, we can see that uh, voice over IP users and PBX systems are the most targeted. And uh, in the graphic from uh, SecureLogic's uh, latest annual uh, voice security report, we can see that uh, the biggest risk for communication systems are uh, telephony denial of service attacks and caller ID spoofing frauds. Uh, and there are several reasons why voice over IP technologies are inherently weak. Uh, firstly, uh, voice over IP protocols are not designed securely and vendors cannot meet today's security needs. Additionally, uh, voice over IP uh, is not managed securely in companies generally. Uh, as voice over IP continues to become more prevalent, uh, it will become an in indispensable need in the near future. And given the in uh, inherent weaknesses in VoIP, uh, there is a need for a product that can detect and report uh, security problems specific to voice over IP. And Mr. Sip has been designed to fill this need and it's valuable uh, tool for anyone who wants to ensure the security of their voice over IP and unified communication uh, systems in their network. Before we go into uh, more technical details, uh, let's understand how SIP works basically. Uh, there are three common approaches of deploying voice over IP within organizations. Uh, internal voice over IP implementation, managed services and online SIP tracking. SIP or uh, Session Initiation Protocol is a text-based protocol for establishing uh, and managing communication sessions between two or more devices or uh, IP networks. And SIP uses request methods and response types uh, very similar to HTTP. Uh, some common request types include invite, egg, buy, or cancel, and there may be some others. And response types include 1x6, 2x6, 3x6, which means uh, very similar to HTTP. And uh, the basic call flow for SIP involves uh, two users and uh, a server in the middle. The first user sends an invite request to the server, uh, which forwards it to the second user. And the second user responds with a message, a response message. And if the call is accepted, uh, two users can begin communicating using RTP, which is the real-time transport protocol, which is the media. Yeah, as I said, uh, while SIP is similar to HTTP, it's more complex and uh, has its own unique features, uh, such as specific headers and parameters that are vendor-specific uh, vendor uh, and unique for each call, uh, like call ID header. And SIP uses a mechanism similar to HTTP digest for user authentication, called as uh, SIP digest authentication, uh, where the user password is pressured and symmetrical. And in SIP version 2, uh, the MD5 hashing algorithm is applied uh, to the authentication data before it's sent to the server. And a SIP registered message is used for user registration and contains some useful information for executing an authentication attack. Uh, Mr. SIP Pro is a fully featured version of Mr. SIP uh, that is currently under development. It aims to offer new and unique features for uh, voice over IP security testing and position itself as the go-to product for voice over IP security tests. On the slide, green uh, modules are included in the open source version, which is the public version, and blue ones are added in the pro version, and uh, in pro version, public modules are also uh, extended with new features. And the red ones are uh, still under development or test phase. Uh, overall, uh, Mr. SIP Pro can discover voice over IP devices on the network, report vulnerabilities, and simulate over a hundred different attacks and able scenarios specific to voice over IP. And its features uh, include information gathering, vulnerability and exploit scanning, offensive and auxiliary modules, as well as an uh, IP spoofing engine, message generator, and user-friendly graphical user interface. 
one of the most notable features uh, is uh, the automated test flow process, uh, which improves efficiency and accuracy in uh, testing SIP-based communications. And this allows uh, for a smoother testing process and makes it easier to identify potential vulnerabilities. Another unique feature is uh, its ability to simulate real network, real-time network conditions. Uh, this is achieved through uh, advanced uh, IP spoofing skills such as random subnet and manual options, uh, as well as uh, the ability to intervene uh, with man in the middle and intercepting proxy skills. Uh, Mississippi Pro also offers on-the-fly cracking for SIP digest authentication, uh, package inspection and repeating skills, and predefined original telephony denial of service attack scenarios and an advanced uh, SIP packet uh, gener generator. But uh, what sets Mr. Cipro uh, apart is its stateful, uh, customizable, and automated attack scenario development framework. This allows uh, for the creation of uh, complex SIP call flow attacks in accordance with SIP RFCs uh, and the testing of zero day vulnerabilities and unintended behaviors. The framework also supports state controlled call flow and predefined unique attack scenarios. It's particularly useful for uh, service providers and telecom operators at all levels uh, who need to ensure the reliability and security of their communication, uh, communication infrastructure. And additionally, uh, it's valuable for banking, finance, and enterprise institutions where security is critical. Integrators, uh, security consulting firms, and researchers can also benefit from using Mr. Cipro. And overall, uh, it's an indispensable tool for anyone involved in managing and testing uh, voice over IP and UC infrastructure. It's a versatile tool that can be used in a variety of settings. Uh, it's particularly useful for penetration uh, testing and red teaming activities, uh, where it can simulate uh, real-world attacks and identify vulnerabilities in uh, voice over IP and UC infrastructure. It's also uh, used for voice over IP and security product testing for R&D, uh, including performance testing, uh, security testing, load testing, and robustness testing. Additionally, uh, it's available for POC and quality testing in the purchase stage for both voice over IP and security products such as firewalls, uh, DDoS mitigators, and IPSs. And finally, uh, it's an excellent tool for voice over IP and security researchers who needs to test new technologies and identify vulnerabilities. So this is the workflow uh, and the workflow of uh, Mississippi Pro modules uh, for deploying an attack. So green modules uh, are core modules, blue modules are attack modules, yellow ones are external inputs, and gray modules are outputs of the modules. Uh, as you see, SIP, uh, Generate, message generator module feeds the network scanner, enumerator, signaling manipulator, DOS attack simulator, and attack scenario player. And the output of the network scanner is uh, given as an input to the enumerator and network scanner. Uh, the sniffer module, along with many of the middle attack module, feeds the eavesdropper and cracker modules. And the list of the SIP users uh, well, CPU that is the combination of outputs of the uh, enumerator and EVS dropper. Then all these inputs feed the predefined uh, user agent and SIP extension dictionaries. Uh, Mr. CPRO provides a comprehensive uh, set of features that can be used uh, to test and secure SIP-based communications. And the voice over IP pen test methodology with Mr. CPRO consists of uh, identifying SIP servers and enumerating users. Uh, registration hijacking via uh, SIP digest authentication cracking, sniffing via application level man in the middle, uh, color ID spiffing uh, via SIP signaling manipulation, enumeration via eavesdropping calls, searching for uh, known vulnerabilities and exploits based on the product brand and version, and telephony denial of service attacks uh, powered by IP spiffing. And these features uh, help ensure the security and reliability of voice over IP and UC infrastructure and improves the efficiency and accuracy of testing. To create a basic uh, virtual voice over IP security laboratory, we can follow these steps. First, set up virtual machines for the IPPV systems, such as Trixbox or FreePBX, and there are many more, and the attacker machine uh, 
such as Kali Linux, <coughs> install and configure SIP servers uh, on the IPPB systems, register users on the SIP servers, install soft clients such as Doiper, uh, Jitsi, and Lintphone on the virtual machine, and install Mr. SIP Pro on the attacker machine, and configure Mr. SIP Pro to the, uh, target uh, the IPPB systems and users, and perform voice over IP security testing using Mr. SIP Pro and analyze the results. This setup allows uh, for safe and controlled testing of voice over IP security vulnerabilities without risking uh, damage to a live production environment. And in the rest of the slides, uh, I will discuss the major modules of Mr. SIP Pro and uh, their relation to various uh, voice over IP penetration testing tasks. The first one uh, is the SIPNES. Uh, it's a network scanner and used to identify SIP servers and ver versions. It scans the network and collects details about uh, SIP clients and servers present on the network, including IP address, host name, vendor name, uh, product name, and version model number. And it accepts inputs such as IP address, IP address range, or IP subnet. And it gathers data by sending various SIP messages to the IP addresses and makes conclusions based on the response received. Another information gathering module is SIP enum, uh, which is SIP enumerator, uh, helps to identify active SIP extensions and their authentication statuses on the target network. And it sends SIP register or SIP sus subscribe messages to the target server and enumerates details based on the responses. And to initiate an enumeration process, SIP enum requires uh, the default a username and extension dictionary. Another information gathering module uh, is SIP sniff, which is a network sniffer. It performs a targeted man in the middle attack uh, against the network and it sniffs the network and filters voice over IP traffic. And, and along with uh, man in the middle module, SIP sniff uh, provides uh, capabilities and information flow for many other modules. And even when the man in the, man in the middle capability is deactivated, it can still be used to filter uh, the voice over IP traffic across the server. Uh, another information gathering module is SIP EVIS, which is a voice over IP call EVIS dropper. Uh, it filters and intercepts voice over IP calls in the target network by utilizing man in, the man in the middle and sniffer capabilities. It captures and collects call specific data at the signaling level, including who is calling, who is called, the duration of the call and uh, the unique call ID value, and it feeds this data to, into other modules, as well as automated scanning and behavior modeling modes. We also have SIP vSCAN, uh, which checks the security configuration of the target SIP assets and reports any misconfiguration that may lead security vulnerabilities and exploits. Uh, this module uh, also provides suggested uh, remediation steps to fix the identified vulnerabilities or misconfigurations. So the first uh, offensive module uh, is SIPDAS, the denial of service attack simulator, uh, and used to perform uh, DOS attacks on various message types utilizing SIP message generator and IP spoofing engine capabilities. And it can perform more effective DOS attacks using uh, predefined dictionaries for user extension, user agent, verified user extension, or hijacked accounts when operated in uh, automatic scanning and behavioral uh, modeling mode, which is from other modules. For instance, it adapts itself in, in accordance with the specific uh, SIP message structure that is particular to the identified vendor, product, or version. As a result, it can uh, produce sophisticated messages that uh, anomaly <coughs> engines uh, won't detect. We have SIP Cracker, uh, which can be used to crack SIP digest authentication process uh, in real time. It captures SIP traffic on the network and filters SIP digest authentication messages. And after extracting the authentication data, it starts the password cracking process in real time. And it can uh, use different uh, methods of cracking passwords such as rainbow table, brute force, and dictionary-based methods. And it's an essential tool for testing strength of uh, SIP passwords that can help, uh, help identify weak authentication configuration that could be exploited by attackers. We have SIPSIM, uh, which is a signaling manipulator. 
and can be used to spoof caller ID and manipulate SIP signaling. Uh, it works as a SIP proxy, intercepting voice or IP traffic between clients and servers, uh, capturing messages and modifying uh, specific headers or parameters as needed. And before forwarding the modified message to the target server, of course. Uh, it can also generate SIP messages from scratch and simulate a SIP client. And with SIP SIM, uh, it's possible to carry out uh, one based or LAN based caller ID spoofing attacks. And another example uh, of an attack that can be uh, performed using SIP SIM is uh, SIP registration erasure attack against call centers. Uh, we have SIP ASP, which is attack scenario player. Uh, this is able to perform complex attack scenarios, including uh, DR DOS and retransmission based distributed DOS uh, using the SIP message generator and powerful SIP parser. And this framework makes it uh, easy to test and reproduce sophisticated uh, attack scenarios, and it includes uh, eight novel attack scenarios added uh, to the academic literature uh, by the Mr. SIP Pro team. And it's also possible to develop uh, numerous attack scenarios using this framework. And there are additional modules provide further capabilities for testing and uh, attacking SIP based systems. SIP man in the middle enables uh, SIP man in the middle attacks using art spoofing. And while uh, SIP fast generates irregular SIP messages to test zero day vulnerabilities, RTP EWS and RTP MIM allows for EWS dropping and manipulation, RTP media and uh, RTP DTMF records and decodes DTMF tones in real time. We have RTP Robo, which can be used for robocalling and speed attacks. And AutoDeep is an automatic scanner that uses behavior modeling uh, to perform security audits. And these models are still under development or testing phase right now. We have some uh, auxiliary modules supporting other modules in the Mississippi Pro Suite. Uh, IP spoofing engine provides uh, three methods for generating spoofed IP addresses, including manual selection from list, uh, random generation and identified of the current subnet to bypass URPF filtering if there is in the network. And it's used to test effectiveness of uh, network security measures against IP spoofing attacks. And we have SIP message generator, which is used uh, to create standard SIP messages that comply with the RFC specifications, and these messages can be sent to destination over TCP or UDP, and it's also useful for generating SIP traffic, making it helpful for load testing and robustness testing in combination of with SIP, SIP DAS. And lastly, uh, there is a user-friendly GUI that simplifies the communication, uh, configuration and usage of uh, the various modules in, in Mr. SIP Pro Suite. And on this slide, uh, I would like to express my sincere gratitude uh, to the individuals who have uh, contributed to the development of Mr. Sip and Mr. Sip Pro, including Nesisha, uh, who is here around today. Uh, and as we conclude our discussion uh, on voice over IP security and Mr. Sip Pro, uh, I would like to offer uh, an advice for you. Uh, remember, success in security works. Uh, requires dedication and hard work. If you are passionate about it, keep learning, keep growing, and your passion will grow with you. And I hope um, you found this presentation useful and valuable. Uh, thank you for your time and attention, and I wish you best in your own journey.